Hi everyone, Chrissy here today and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am so excited to be able to share this card that I created for ThermoWeb and right now I'm going to show you how I did it using a bunch of amazing ThermoWeb products. So you can see I have the deco foil adhesive pen, I have some deco foil there, but first, before I do anything else, we are going to start out with these easy cut adhesive sheets. These sheets make any piece of paper, any piece of cardstock, two-sided, like sticky. So what you do is you trim it down to the size of whatever your cardstock is going to be. I use some watercolor cardstock and I just used a scrap piece of paper and trimmed it down to the approximate size. Then you peel off the one side of the release tape and stick it on the back. So now I'm running it through my die cutting machine. This is my little cuddle bug and I just chose a Celebrate die. Um, it's like a little scripty one and because I had that release on the back, the adhesive cut sheet, now you can see when I pull out the die, the back side is actually going to be sticky, but it's not sticky yet because I still have that other side of the release tape on there. So I can still work on my die. I have no problems with it whatsoever. It's not gonna stick to anything or be annoying. Um, <laughs> once I peel off that release tape, then it will be really sticky. So I decided I wanted to do kind of like an ombre effect. I wanted it to go from yellow to red to gold. So I grabbed my watercolors and um, you can see I just real kind of gently and loosely added some color. Um, I always dab on a paper towel because I feel like I have too much water. So that's why you see me dabbing all the time. But I kind of blended it a little bit. So um, the next step is we're going to add the gold. So here you can see I'm just testing it like on a scrap piece of paper. The first time you get this adhesive pen, um, you need to hold it down, like press it down for 30 seconds, let that adhesive show, run through. Um, that's what I was kind of showing there. And then after that, you're, you're good as gold. You're fine. So this is um, the champagne color of the deco foil, and I'm just cutting off a small piece. You don't have to do that. It's just a little bit easier for me to work with, especially on camera. If not, the whole thing covers everything. So I'm just going and I'm just kind of tracing the bottom portion with that adhesive pen because like I said, I wanted it to do kind of like an ombre. We're going to go from one color to another then to the gold. So I'm just kind of going back and just adding a little bit more in. I, I'm using a nonstick craft mat, but I did also protect my surface with um, another piece of scrap paper. And then all you have to do, you can use your laminator if you want to. Um, I chose to run it through my die cutter again since I had it out and um, off to the side and ready for me. So you just place it inside a folded piece of card stack. I just have like an extra um, blank card laying around and run it through your die cutting machine as you normally would for your normal sandwich. And then you can see there I peeled it off and now it looks awesome. And I'm just kind of going and blending a few of the colors. Again, not the gold, but the, the watercolor. So boom, it's done and it's fantastic. So now this is a cute little girl that I colored off camera. Um, I wasn't going to bore you with my coloring. So I want to add a little bit of foil to her dress. She's got a little heart on there. Um, so I thought it would just be kind of like a fun touch to tie everything together. Because what I want to do is I want to have the foil on that die. I want to have it on the girl. And then I'm also going to show you how to add it on the edges of your card. So we're going to have a lot of foil, but it's not going to be too much. It's not going to be overpowering or anything like that. It's just little touches here and there to tie everything together to make it all work. So I ran it through, and then because I'm kind of a Butterfingers, um, I had a little bit too much adhesive on there. So all you have to do is I have this um, tool-in-one. It's a paper piercer on the end. You can scratch the extra foil off of the paper piercer, or you can use like an X-Acto knife or something like that. Anything that's sharp. Just be careful, don't cut yourself or anything like that. But anything that's got like a sharp tip, it'll easily come off. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna trim this out. So I recommend using super sharp scissors when you are fussy cutting. Um, some stamps have coordinating dies, so you can also do that too. Make good use of that die cutting machine that I've already used twice and I'm gonna use again. And then we are going to adhere this to the front of the card um, with some foam adhesive, uh, but we will get to that in a little while. So I kind of like fussy cutting. It's kind of like therapeutic for me. So now I told you we were going to add some foil to the edges of our card. This is my card base. Um, what we were working on before is actually going to go on the front panel. So don't worry. This is going to look really messy. Um, it won't be in the end. There's no need for precision with this because I knew I'd be covering it up with a front panel. So I just trimmed a few pieces of those adhesive cut sheets to make sure that they would go um, 
they would fit across the top and the bottom and the two sides. And then I actually let them go off the edge because for me, it's a lot easier to trim off the excess than trying to align it absolutely perfectly. So once all those were on and everything, you can see I'm releasing um, the adhesive. And then I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to press it down right on my foil, just like before. Let me add to the foil. And I'm going to run it through my die cutting machine. Now because this is already um, an actual card base, I did not need the pressure to put it inside a blank card, I just put a scrap piece of paper on top of it and I ran it through twice. That just that worked perfectly fine. Um, otherwise it was a little bit too thick, I couldn't get it through my machine. So you can see here I'm peeling it off. Oh, look at all that. And keep this, your foil is so good that it hasn't been used, so keep it and put it aside. So those are the edges. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to start watercoloring. Um, it's gonna be pretty quick. Um, I'm kinda messy with this. I'm not doing anything that needs absolute precision. This is just kind of going to be a simple background. Um, I want it to not be boring. I don't want just a plain stark white background, but I want enough color on there that it will work with that little girl that I colored and that it will make the gold around the edges and um, on the die pop out. So as you can see, um, I just, I added water first and I added some color, added some more color, kind of blended together. I blotted it. I did the same thing again. I used the heat gun. I love watercolor because I can be loosey goosey and goofy and do whatever and create backgrounds like this, or I can use a smaller brush and less water and then I can really get in there and paint something beautiful with a lot of detail. So you'll see me using watercolors a lot and I just think it, it's such a great contrast with the foil as well. Something about that soft contrast and then with the foil, it just, I think it's awesome. So here um, I am adding adhesive, strong adhesive, strong thermoweb adhesive to the back of that panel that we just painted and I'm putting it over that card base that we did. And see what I'm talking about? Um, all the foil that was kind of like crooked and cockeyed doesn't even matter. You can't even see it. So now I can peel off that release that we cut the very first step of this video. We're almost there. Um, and now it's nice and sticky and I can place it on there with absolutely no problem whatsoever. Um, if you need to use tweezers or something to get it on there, some of these dyes are really intricate and kind of um, hard to deal with. So you can always use tweezers and it makes it really easy to place things down. I'm just grabbing a watercolor marker and I added a little bit of yellow to the top. I just kind of felt like it needed to pop out a little bit. It was getting the hair lost in there. So now I'm blending it um, with the, a water brush. So it blends seamlessly with the watercolors that I painted earlier. So now I'm using a foam adhesive um, to add that little girl on that we fussy cut out not too long ago. So I love this adhesive because one, it's super thick. So it really makes things pop out. I don't have to put two squares on. And two, I can cut it in half and use it for what I need. I have big, I can cut it small, there's small ones in the pack, super awesome. So last but not least, I decided to add some sequins and for that I used these small zots. Um, these are a great alternative to glue or any other type of liquid adhesive. I actually prefer using these when I have them on hand versus anything else. Um, with the glue, you have to wait. I'm an impatient crafter. I do not like to wait for things. That's why I use a heat gun whenever I can. Um, with glue, that doesn't usually work. So I love using Zats, and I love the small ones because they are always the perfect size for sequins. So I'm just using my tweezers to place the sequins on. They're really staticky, so it just makes it a little bit easier for me to actually get them on the card. And before... I put adhesive down, I always kind of place them and I move things around to decide what I'm going to do, add more, take away, whatever. Um, I definitely like to plan things out. So you can see now the sequins are on there and this is our finished card. We're all set. We have used several adhesives and several foils. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you will give this card a try. Thanks.